Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about some exciting new developments in the field of electricity renovation. As many of you know, rethinking and updating our electrical systems is crucial for building a more sustainable future. There have been some noteworthy innovations and announcements recently that I think are worth discussing. So, buckle up and get ready for a high voltage ride into the future of electricity. Let's get started. The Waveline Magnet is a unique wave energy converter WEC, developed by the UK and Cyprus-based R&D company C Wave Energy Limited SWEL. This innovative device is designed to harness the power of waves to produce electricity, offering an affordable, low-maintenance, and climate-friendly alternative to traditional technologies. The Waveline Magnet is built like a spine-like device floating on water. It comprises several floating platforms linked via a central power system, creating a flexible and modular device that seamlessly follows wave movement. When waves pass through the system, power is generated as the wave rises and falls. Swell's research indicates that even in its current development state, the Waveline magnet can produce substantial power levels at an exceptionally low cost, competing even with non-renewable sources. Under the right conditions and forces, SWEL estimates that the power produced by a single WEC can reach 100 megawatts. This technology has the potential to revolutionize the renewable energy sector. The next step for SWEL is commercialized its technology and sending it out for mass production. Solid is a company developing technology to produce low-cost green hydrogen using solar power and water electrolysis. Green hydrogen is hydrogen produced through renewable energy sources like solar or wind, resulting in near-zero carbon emissions. Solid's technology uses concentrated photovoltaics CPV, to generate low-cost solar electricity that is then used to power water electrolyzers and split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Their CPV modules use lenses and curved mirrors to concentrate sunlight onto small high efficiency solar cells. A key advantage of Solvid's approach is the high solar to hydrogen efficiency they can achieve compared to traditional PV electrolysis systems. They claim their technology can convert over 30% of solar energy into hydrogen energy, significantly higher than the typical 15-20% to efficiency. In 2020, Solvid opened a demonstration facility in Hazelwood, Missouri, capable of producing up to 250 kilograms of hydrogen per day. This facility validates their technology and will provide data for scaling up to larger commercial projects. Solid has announced plans to build large-scale commercial green hydrogen production plants, including a 20 tons per day facility planned for 2023. Their goal is to produce hydrogen at $1 per kilogram or lower at scale. If achieved, Solid's low-cost solar hydrogen could help drive broader adoption of hydrogen in decarbonizing sectors like transportation, electricity generation, and industrial processes. However, scale-up and economical production still remain key challenges challenges for the company. Ventum is a Dutch company that develops vertical axis wind turbines. Their flagship product is the Ventum VS050 turbine. The VS050 has a rated power output of 50 kilowatts and is designed for both onshore and offshore applications. The rotor diameter is 15 meters. It utilizes a vertical axis VAWT, design where the rotor spins perpendicular to the ground. This allows it to harness wind from any direction without having to rotate the turbine head. Key advantages of VOTS include their omnidirectional operation, compact footprint, low noise, and ability to take advantage of locations with turbulent winds. Disadvantages are generally lower efficiency than horizontal axis turbines and more complex drivetrain. Ventum claims the VS050 has a capacity factor of over 50%, competitive with the best HOTS on the market today. The company uses a proprietary Dardure-style rotor with curved blades to improve efficiency. The blades utilize an aerofoil design to generate lift. Ventum is currently working on expanding into to markets globally, though most of its projects to date have been in the Netherlands. Papilio is a wind-powered streetlight designed by Tobias Trubenbacher Superscript 1. It was created as part of his graduation project at the University of the Arts in Berlin Superscript 1. The goal of the project is to reduce the ecological footprint of street lighting and tackle light pollution, while also reducing greenhouse gas emissions Superscript 1. Papilio generates electricity with an integrated wind generator, which uses a Savonius rotor made of folded sheet metal and connected to a 300-watt generator Superscript 1. The 
rotor is designed to work with both vertical and horizontal airstreams making it suitable for use in city street superscript 1. the generated electricity is stored in a rechargeable battery allowing papilio to operate autonomously in windy areas without the need for expensive underground electricity infrastructure superscript 1. in order to minimize light pollution papilio is designed as a full cutoff lantern only emitting light downwards with a beam angle far below the horizontal superscript 1. the light spectrum used is less attractive to insects due to its lower blue component and warm color temperature of 2800 kelvin superscript 1. additionally the street lamp is equipped with an infrared sensor that activates the light only when it is actually needed superscript 1. papilio represents an innovative approach to street lighting that could have a significant impact on reducing light pollution and greenhouse gas emissions Vortex Bladeless is a Spanish technology startup that is developing a new type of wind power generator. Unlike traditional wind turbines, Vortex Bladeless does not have rotating blades or lubricants. Instead, it uses resonant vibrations produced when wind passes the turbine and is deflected into vortices in a process called vortex shedding. This innovative design allows the turbine to generate power from the wind without the need for moving parts. The Vortex Bladeless turbines stand at 3 meters high, a curved top cylinder fixed vertically with an elastic rod. It is designed to oscillate within the wind range and generate electricity from the vibration. This design has won the approval of Norway state energy company Equinor, which named Vortex on a list of the 10 most exciting startups in the energy sector. The turbine is no danger to bird migration patterns or wildlife, particularly if used in urban settings. For people living or working nearby, the turbine would create noise at a frequency virtually undetectable to humans. It starts generating power at a wind speed of 3 meters per second typical in urban areas. Vortex Bladeless offers a new form of wind energy that is safer, requires less maintenance, and is bird-friendly. It has similar building materials, grid compatibility, operating conditions, and energy conversion methods as traditional wind turbine superscript 1. However, it also has distinct characteristics and new possibilities that make it an exciting development in the field of renewable energy. The Playsho Solar Paver is an innovative, energy-generating paver with an inbuilt solar panel. It's a double green, sustainable building material as it not only generates green energy but also the product's frame is made of recycled plastic. The pavers are made of four monocrystalline cells with 21.5 W output and 21.8% efficiency. Each cell measures 158.75 mm by 158.75 mm while the solar paver module measures 353 mm by 353 mm by 41 mm and weighs 6.5 kg. Playsho Solar Pavers decarbonize homes, businesses, and cities by providing green energy for their buildings, devices, and electric vehicles superscript 1. Playsho can be placed on terraces, driveways, or walkways, or on other sunny, flat surfaces. The system can be used to generate electricity for a residential building or for power supply for an electric vehicle. The solar panels of the solar dress are green electricity squared, in addition to to the fact that such devices perform their direct function, they are made from recycled plastic. A dress with an area of 20 square meters can cover the annual energy consumption of an average family. The manufacturer also suggests installing panels on sidewalks and ports near business centers. The possibilities are endless. Each panel is made from 400 bottles. One of the most common forms of plastic, such a compressed material, is more durable than concrete and at the same time slip resistant. The device is currently available in brown, blue, red, and green. Playshow paves the way to a greener future by providing green, clean energy for cities, buildings, homes, and ports. Playshow solar pavers can be built on a terraces, driveways, or pavement. It is suitable for all surfaces. The wind generator prototype proposed by inventor Majita Lahi is indeed an innovative solution to some of the challenges faced by traditional wind turbines. The unique design places the turbine at the bottom of the device, which not only simplifies maintenance but also helps protect birds from injury. Here's how it works. At the top of the device, there is a cylinder that allows air to be sucked in. This air is then directed through a special tube towards the turbine located at the bottom. The turbine is set in motion by a gearbox, which stabilizes and controls its movement. 
movement. The energy generated by the turbine's motion is transferred to a generator, which converts it into electricity. This electricity is then sent to an electrical panel and subsequently to the main grid for use. To prevent foreign objects from entering and potentially damaging the turbine, a mesh is placed at the bottom of the generator chamber. According to the inventors, this prototype could potentially be developed into a device capable of generating up to 100 W of power. This design represents a significant step forward in making wind power more sustainable and less harmful to wildlife. It's an exciting development in the field of renewable energy.